Financial Bunny TV. Hey guys, so it's me, Nicolette Mashile, and welcome to the channel. Today we've got DJ Spoo, guys, on my first time. It's going to be quite exciting. We're going to dig. We're going to dig deep. So it's going to be things that you've never heard before. But guess what? Hello guys, how are you doing? Um, thank you for having me. Yay! Um, but you know, uh, something different, by the, by the way, I'm so impressed with your work. Oh, thank you. I'm so impressed, Iswami. I am so impressed. So I was not aware of everything that you've been doing. Yeah. Um, so then I spoke to somebody, and then they did a, a bit of a research. Well, they, uh, they sent me a profile. Yeah. And I got a bit excited, so I did my own little research. I'm like, yo, Gandhi, this person is so huge online. <laughs> So guys, I'm with the celebrity. Oh my goodness, yeah, listen yo. to that. <laughs> so I'm really proud of you. Oh, thank you. I think you. you're one of the first people to see the opportunity that online has to offer. Yeah. You've taken advantage of it to empower and help as many yeah. people as you can. Yeah. And yeah. people like myself, that's exactly what we're doing in my own way. So when yeah. I see people like you, I get so excited. You Yay. Know? So congratulations yeah. on everything. Thank you so much. I'm excited. I'm excited to be speaking mm -hmm. to your legend. I mean, honestly, who else do we learn from if not our legends, right? Ah, guys, I'm already a legend. No, okay, legend. we need to have legends while they're still alive, guys. Ah, it's guys. important. It's really <laughs> crucial. I brought you here today because we're going to talk about your money. Sure. Right? Um, I mean, we'll jump straight into it. I, I'm sure you, you, you've been in the industry for a very long time. Um, you've not only just in the music industry, but I mean, in, in also radio, TV, you've been everywhere. And... We always assume that you guys have money that just keeps rolling in. Yeah. Rolling in. How then do you start building that discipline to say, if, even, if the, even though there's money that's coming in, at any point that tap can also run dry? Uh, it's, it's a very, uh, I think number one, I'm going to continue to what I said first. Mm. But, you know, what you're doing is totally amazing. Mm. Totally amazing and liberating. Mm. You know, and I, and, I, and I hope you guys go, go to a page right now on YouTube, search for the financial, uh, fi financial bunny, yes. that's B-U-N-N-Y, right? Yeah. And then subscribe to all of her platforms, mm. all her social media platforms, because her platforms are going to change your life. How she goes about doing it and how she simplifies it is totally amazing. And I guess that's what we're doing now. Mm. I made a lot of mistakes like everybody else does, yeah. Yeah. Um, especially yeah. what we come from poor backgrounds and we, we don't get some sort of um, corporate training yeah. or you know that, that that experience from corporate and relationship with money yeah. before we get into entertainment yes mm. some people go the corporate route mm. and then later on maybe doors open for them to get into entertainment yeah well lots of money pours in or whatever those type of people i think they'll be in a better position to manage their finances as opposed to somebody like myself who um got into entertainment literally after having worked for a year or year and a half almost two mm. years at telcom and the one year one count because i was doing my in-service training yeah it was an internship so i only worked for a couple of months mm. at telcom and limonek berakakoteng i wouldn't even call it a corporate environment so yeah. i'm not corporate trained yeah you know yeah. and when you're not corporate trained like a lot of my brothers and sisters out there soccer players mm. other entertainers mm. musicians mm. dancers mm. tv presenters etc mm. mm. we come out of poverty and we get into this money. art and that's mm. why then you've got a manager Mm. You've got an accountant that you think manages your account, your mm. accounting or your finances mm. correctly. That's what you think. Yeah. Or that's what you'd like to believe. Then you've got a lawyer, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That is if you're smart, you've got those type of people. Yeah. Some of us don't. Yeah. And some of us kind of feel like, no, I'm going to Yes. Type of thing. You know? Yes. Yeah. Now, let me tell you what happens. There's something called habit. Yeah. Habit is... I mean, I was one of the lucky few people that when I got in, I was young. Eh? Yeah. When I got into him, I was 20. Yeah. Started TS Records 21. Uh, f the first thing that we pushed out there, me and TK, was a hit. Yeah. That was even before Mzagazeg. We had a project called, um, I forgot what was my Paputi's album, but yeah. it had a single called Ababana Bakumbu Zijala. Ababana Bakumbu Zijala. Woof, woof. Yeah, So that was under a label, but yeah. because at the time we didn't have a formalized company, yeah. Lance signed my Paputi under Ghetto Rap. Yeah. TK was working under Get for Get Off at the time. Yeah. But we didn't make Lance aware. But, yeah, well, TK see. did make him aware that yeah, you know, there's an is, artist is, that I believe is. in. Yeah. I don't have a company yet. I'm gonna bring him to Get Off. But I don't just want to get a salary every month. Yes. I want to get a bit of what he's gonna make for the company because yeah. I believe in him. I believe he's gonna be hit. 
And then we had some sort of an arrangement with Lance, and yes, Mapaputi did become a hit. Yeah. And then officially we started our company, which Lance invested in, TS Records. Yeah. Um, our first artist was Mzegeze. Yeah. Mzegeze also came up with a hit. After Mzegeze, it was brown. Yes. Done. Like, Yo, it was just a hit after hit after hit after hit. So what I'm trying to say to you is I came out of poverty straight, straight into, into the money. money. Do you mm. understand? And not mm. just... 50,000. Mm, I'm talking man, about 15,000 or almost every other day. Yeah, sure. Understand? Yeah. That's a lot of money, hundreds of thousands every week. Yeah. Now, you, you fall into a cycle which is a trap and it becomes a habit where you know what I spend. Yes, yes, and a lot, of, a lot of yes. people who work do that also. Yes. Yes. No, it's okay. Yes, it's yes. 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 And you enjoy it, like yeah. so you enjoy it. Which, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to get into it. So, I mean, yeah. then the, the the standard of your life goes. Lifestyle inflation. Yes. Yeah. First time. Yes. We fun up on it. We got a top. We entertain. We have problem on TV. Yeah. We pay a lot. We pay a lot. Yes. I think I was one of the smarter ones because at the time I wasn't drinking alcohol, so I was always uh, sober-minded and I wouldn't blame alcohol. But yeah. I was young, sober-minded. Yeah. And I couldn't do much with my money, so mm. what I would do is buy expensive cars. Um, luckily I got into a property mm. early. Mm. Invested into some properties. Mm. Imagine a 21 year old millionaire who stays in Come on now. back then. Come on now. Who's on what? television? Who's everywhere? <laughs> like, child, <laughs> impossible. <laughs> And that's the story. And, and that is there. Like, yeah. I'm a youngster. I'm not like this with the Khrofin Chair. Mm. I'm smooth. I'm mm. cool. I'm young. Mm. Smooth, man. Yo, so yo. So, man. <laughs> yo. so you're bound to make mistakes. Yeah, of course. You are bound to make a lot of mistakes. Of course, yeah. And this is what I'd like to share with a lot of your audiences. Mm. With you guys, if you are in that boat, you're making a lot of money at an early age. Be very, very smart with your finances. Don't be like us. Yeah. Um, we are splashed it. Uh, got introduced to alcohol yeah. while in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I didn't abuse alcohol in any way, but I mean, I started drinking. Yeah. And you drink expensive. Yes. You know, you drink yes. expensive. expensive alcohol. You dress expensive. Because yes. the mindset says I must wear Louis Vuitton. Yes. And, I must wear. You know what I mean? I must money. look the part. Yes. I'm an entertainer. I'm on yes. music videos. I'm on TV, yes. etc. Yes. So you get used to that lifestyle. So that was my relationship until. When reality strikes, to Kumbuza, you go, hey, I have money, like, go, 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 go. and See I that. run out, I have mm. money. Oh. You're not going to continue making these hits forever. That's you know? true, that's true. And, and then that came, and when that came, I think um, that's what woke me up. Yeah. I think I was lucky that it happened at an early age. At an early age, yeah. Um, and you need to remember that I'd made mistakes even with my partner, we re-ran our company at the time. It was a small company. We were not trained mm. how to run a business. Mm. We ran it like it was, it was um, we knew learning how to run a business. But at the same time, whenever we needed money just from think. our company mm. account, we will take, yeah. you know, yeah. um, whatever is due to us, um, which was a mistake. Yeah. We, we could have invested that money back into the business. Yeah. We could have built the business even bigger by yeah. opening other or maybe focusing the business on other on things other that things, can bring yeah. money. Mm. But at the time, it was just three things. Yeah. It was artist management, it was record company, mm. um, royalties, obviously, how you make the money as a record label, and it was events yeah. that we used to do, mm. you know? And um, yeah, I mean, I think that that's what I can say. Up until you don't make hits anymore, yeah. Um, you get to see the shows. They move from five shows a week to three shows a week, from three Ish. shows a week to one, to one show, show a week. week. Mm. From one show a week to one show a month. But it's so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. All of a sudden now, that however hundreds of thousands every month it was now starts becoming only 40k or 50k yeah and that 40k or 50k i know it might seem like it's a lot for somebody out there but because but you've accumulated this thank lifestyle you, thank you you can't afford it and then now reality strikes you have to start coming up with other ways of how do i downgrade how do yeah. i how do I become clever? How do I, do you know what I mean? And how easy is that downgrade? Because I feel like a lot of people struggle with the downgrade. Being able to one day wake up and recognize, Wuti, I actually mm -hmm. can no longer afford this German car I'm driving. Or I actually need to cut this German car and go for a smaller car so that I can actually start fixing other areas of my life. I won't say only for entertainers. Yeah. I'll say for everyone. everyone. Mm. Because we want to be seen. Yeah. 
that we are successful mm. and you can't blame us mm, mm. because all we've known all our lives is poverty yes so any type of win yes is an achievement to it you. needs to be displayed and you want mm. people to know that yeah. you know you've achieved yeah also it's not like you can walk around in a shared portfolio yako uhambu kombi za bantu yes in a shared portfolio you understand ufuna babo ngu to top and imagine how kaba ngu nangkira nangkira le lambo or nangkira le posh or nangkira le range you know, my son, I'm going to be a man, but I'm going to be a man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. Hey, you know? I'm going to be a man. It's all the time. I think the answer is that it's not easy. It's not. It's very difficult. Definitely. So, it comes with you being comfortable with who you are. Yeah. Knowing yourself. Yeah. And admitting, taking responsibility mm. about the mistakes or the financial mistakes that you've made. Mm. And, um, well, they say, pray about it. Yeah. Um, but just being comfortable with who you are in your own skin to say, actually, I'm dope. I mean, I'm okay. I don't need this Basquiat t-shirt yeah. for people to think that I'm dope. I don't yes. need this, you know, Rolex yes. watch or that Louis Vuitton this and that yes. or that Porsche. Yes. I'm it's dope fine. even with that 20 rands white t-shirt from Pep. I'm Amen. dope as I am. Amen. When I walk into any room, it's about me. It's not yes. about what I'm wearing. Yeah. Now that's what dif that's what's difficult for a lot of us to do. Because we need that validation. Mm. We've needed it because, you know, mm -hmm. of our background, where yeah. we come from. Yeah. So that's why it's difficult to downgrade. But once you can make peace with yourself yes. and make that decision and downgrade, yeah. you've done yourself the best favor you can ever do. Yeah. Because now, no more bang a team. Yeah. Ah, ni money lo wile. You know, it's water ni money lo wile. You're okay with it. Yeah. But you are now on your way towards fixing your life. That's true. And you're on your way towards an amazingly great life. But don't once, you find that you get out of the trap? That also comes with age. As you I as agree. you get older, you start. I, I I was actually telling a friend of mine because she was like, "Yo, I'm almost thirty. I've got nothing to show for myself." I was like, "Friend." 30 comes with so much wisdom because but just when you cross over you actually just stop caring about what the world thinks i don't know how you feel about that did, did you did you see your life your financial life or your financial personality develop and evolve as you were getting older i always say to to young people who fear getting older yeah like yo i'm old now i'm turning mm. 30 i'm like mm. Come on, dirty. Come on. <laughs> like I pay, yeah. you know. Mm, mm. I always say it's great to get older. Yeah. You're, you're actually not even getting older. Yeah. That's why they call it wisdom yes. because you're wisening yes. up. Yes. And yes. you know, I believe I'm the best me I have ever been That's right amazing. now. And only now I understand that I don't have any competition. Yes. You know, when I was in the entertainment industry, very competitive industry, yes. you want to yes. top the charts, you yes. want to be the best in this, you yes. want to be the first in doing this yes. and that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I understand that. But yeah. only now, I'm like, no. I don't There's need no to needs. be. And, and when other people succeed, I celebrate them. Mm, I'm happy for mm, other people mm. because I'm running my own race. Yes. I'm not competing or I'm not trying to drive a better car than yes. anybody else. I want better millions than, than the next person. I, want, yeah. I don't want any of. Yeah. That's why like, I'm cool. I'm comfortable yeah. being me. Mm. Why? It comes with age. Yeah. It's maturity. Yeah. Um, so getting older gives you wisdom. Yeah. So anybody that's watching now, the older you become, you'll see. You become wiser in everything, in all aspects of your life. Yeah. And especially if you are willing to want to become a better person. Yes. Other people just let themselves yes. go. Yes. Alcohol. Yes. 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 Or they still do things they were doing when they were 20, when they're 35. Mm. They're still just proving, Jalo, just doing these snacks. Mm. About cool, you know? Melufunu kula na umundu. Eno kula guza ngokfunda. Yeah. You know? Eno guza ngokchatama responsibility, accountability. No utu's beggar when it's feeling us kombe, now better, you know? And what Lung is a puta up all your mistakes to yeah. so rectify them. So obviously that um wisdom does come with maturity getting older. Sure. The older you become, the much smarter you the become. The much smarter even you even with your money. Yeah, that's very true. T tell me about pressure. I mean you spoke about competition, a little bit about pressure, especially from whether it's family members, because you know, I find that people have expectations. And I'll give you an example. When I started working in TV, um I said I went home and 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 in as much as my mom wasn't asking for money every day or it was like a, a thing where she was putting me under pressure but once i was able to show my parents all the things that i have to pay for every single month they started to understand 
right? And the pressure kind of eased the way. Are you talking about black tax? Yeah, I can't talk about the Ikena without saying black tax. <laughs> this, this, black, cool. this black tax word, man, is very problematic <laughs> on its own. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, so so how do you how do you deal with that? Because I can assume for everybody, I mean, if we see you on TV, we think, wow, mm. yeah. Mm. And I guess I did have it. Yeah. You know, I had a lot of money. Yeah. I don't have a lot of money now, mm -hmm. but I'm worth a lot of money. Of course. You know, uh, yes. my businesses are worth a lot of money. Yes. You know, one of my startup businesses is now worth over 100 million. Sure. You know, from nothing. Yeah. Literally from nothing. Yeah. It's not the money that I have in my so bank it's account. <laughs> it's yeah. not my money, exactly. you know? Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that it's that way. Yeah. Because even those businesses are not mine. Yeah. You know, they're for yeah. my children. Yes. They're for my children's children. Yes. They're for the future. And that's how other people are wise. That's how they do it. Yeah. I mean, and I live a modest life. Yeah. I'm good about it. But yes, because I got rich at an early age, mm -hmm. you're on television, you're everywhere. And I was flaunting that success. Yeah. Well, everybody thinks you're rich. Yeah. Um, and I was actually even glad that when I went through my problems, they were public. Yes. Where I everybody's like, like, I was like, yes. I'm like, yes. happy. Yes. So I'm happy. Yes. Yes. And yes, I mean, when you're pulling up in a Porsche, everybody, yo, how's it, guys? Yo. And then everybody's like, and now she guys like, man, you keep on your hand. You know, and Mel and I want to put Matili. No, put Matili. I think Matili is strategic. Margini, I want to give you. Know? Mm. So obviously, you gotta make sure. I mean, I've always been like that. I look yeah. after my family. Yeah. So I, I don't want to call it black tax. It's all of our responsibility as a bandaba mnyama. Mm. I mean, if it goes way beyond my family, I look after so many people. Yeah. You know, abanye, abanye, I don't have to, but I do it. Yeah. I guess because I care. Yes. I care about our community. Yes. That's why I do the things that I do. That's why I share the type of videos I share yeah. on social media. I care yeah. about the black child. I yeah. care about the the eight year olds who see so somewhere in Sesheho right now. Yeah. I care about a, a seventeen year old um Pilani yeah. somewhere in Tofimvava. Who's trying? You know what I mean? Like Khumut or somewhere Obamota. in mm. somewhere in, in the northwest in yeah. some remote village. Yeah. Who's having dreams of having a big house one day? Yeah. I care about those young people. Yeah. And that's why I have to use myself as an example to those people. But black tax, if you want to call it, you can't run away from it. It is a responsibility. We have to care for one another. You have to care about and, and it starts in the home. Charity begins at home. Oh, yeah. You can't want to go want to be seen to be helping. But as if you want to be yeah. seen, doesn't matter. But oh, you can't want to go help outside. If we start to Okay, I read, I read, I read. I read. We're talking now about a young girl who is, you know, second year of work. She barely earns fifteen thousand rand. Parents are putting pressure on her. How 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 does she navigate that? Very, very good question. I think it's exactly how you did it. Mm. You know, months mm. mama, or mama, hey, hey, fifteen thousand. Mama, you would know, or I get a fifteen thousand. The taxman takes so really some. Kisala kabu ma nine thousand or kisala kabu ma eight thousand point mm. something. Mm. You know, mm. transport ya kaka kodi ki. You know, um, entertainment allowance ka kodi ki. Mama kwa kamo kwa tlo raka kolo i kwa tlo raka those things I still don't have. Yeah. I still have to save some of my money to make the give them a sort of a, a bit of a picture. Paint a picture. You know, mm. um, so for them to understand mm. that. Um, it does help, but then whenever you can as well, be responsible enough to help. Be you know, now I've, help. I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've helped all I could. Yeah. My, my younger cousins, nieces and nephews, getting them educated, getting them yeah. bursaries, whichever way I could. Some of them paying paying for them with my own cash yeah. because I understand the value of education. Yeah. You know about Rute, yeah. make sure that they're, they're educated. Yeah. That's but I was doing my best. It's an investment. So, yes, you know? And, yes. and I'm glad that, I'm really proud of you guys, by the way. My family, Gugu, wherever no. you are, Tando, wherever you are, no. uh, Lebu, wherever you are, that's so sweet. Um, uh, Fu, wherever you are, like all of you guys, like mm. my family, you know, mm. they're educated, they've got mm. degrees. Oh, and that's cool. I'm mm. and I'm happy. But it's exactly what I'm saying. When you're younger, earning a small salary, 5,000 a month, 8,000 a month, mm. Babonte Kohai, obviously not 100%, every little cent doing <laughs> But give him a bit of an idea. Yeah. Yeah, Khurbas Kampane ba na khana khurei ba ya man la pe puma ko na. But you know that difficult part, mm. the the conversation, 
uh, are we saying people must be open to their families about how much they earn? Not really, but yeah. I mean, when you call mama, yeah, mama, okay, you can. Mama, yeah. Na kwa mbonisi yonki ndo. Na mama manja mbonisi yonki ndo. For instance, oh, maga pekele video sala azuko sa mbonisi yonki. Oh yeah, azuko mama mbela mbonisi yonki. Musho yeye na food. Musho ni sawa ni kwen. But when I make my yeah. mom understand, yes. I, mean, I, I tell her, my mom, mama, this is where this business is yes. now. This is how much it's worth. Yes. And in case of any emergency, you yeah. do know, mama, that you, you are a trustee yes. in, in my family trust. Yes. Yes. And this is what would happen. I also own this radio station. Yes. These are the debts that we are in right now. Yes. We're still servicing debts. Yes. But if the, anything were to happen, I pass on, mama. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Little yes. things like that. Even with them. my finances, yes. with mama, isn't as in Hambeli, yeah. you know? Yes, I told you, what are my expenses? Yes, yes. So I mean even if mklambe let's say let's say mfunu gumka i ten steen. Yeah. Ngam kai five. Yeah. Ngit has ma tiny ting another week within panda eny. Maricon. Ah, that's what I'm gonna man ten bum. Yes. Because automatically na you moon to yes. The more very good ten je. I man. Yeah man I would ten yeah. So mela as with inside panda. Even if you call, I'm not going to be if you get into the name, I'm it, okay, man, I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Yeah. Sometimes I'm going to be able to do it. Sometimes I'm going to be able to do it. Yeah. Maybe just three days, unless yeah. it's like an emergency. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to be another three days. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. And then after a few days, I'm okay, mama, nice thing is, I mean. So manage them. Yes. That's what I'm manage trying to say. Manage expectations. Manage expectations mm. and make them understand that this money is not like a very key. We yeah. yeah. Now we are yeah. a panda somewhere. You yeah. know, now we are crevola. Yeah. 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 If you can have that relationship with your family, yeah. then it's better because they know that you're a hustler. So in a way, instead of them expecting from you in jalo, 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 yes. they turn and become supportive. Because my phone to Pumele, like Lento, Ulum Pando, so yeah. that buyers would yeah. now buy a hole. Yeah. Now Pumele, you oh, understand? That's amazing, mm. yeah. yeah. I think it's also sharing your goals with your family. Yeah. So them yeah. having understanding for now, where you, what are you trying to build towards? But relationships. <laughs> love relationships yeah how do you start the conversation in a relationship because i find that there's just so many things that happen between two people people fall in love sometimes you realize or you're falling in love with someone who's really bad at money you know do you teach them and then maybe one day you marry someone you don't even know and People don't talk about money in their relationships. How, do, how does one navigate that? How do you start the conversation with your partner? When do you start the conversation? I think it's the due diligence that you do in the beginning of the relationship. Yeah. Um, even when you guys are still courting each other, when yeah. you're still going out on dates. Mm -hmm. You know, you start throwing it in. Well, maybe because now I'm experienced in, yes, date, in dating, yes, I can yes, do yes, that. Yes. But maybe for the younger guys, what I can share with them and the advice I can give them is, if we are man, you know, yeah. you can see that I like this guy, yeah. you know, S -s start bringing up those type of topics even yeah. before you date. Yeah, so during mm. the talking stage. Mm. Yeah. Because you want to know. What am I asking you know? though? Obviously, you don't go to. <laughs> <but, laughs> no, 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 not really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you have to be smart yes. enough to be able to, like in your job though, as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Like, um, what are your goals? Yes. Like, where is your business going to be in five yeah. years? Wouldn't you like to be a billionaire? Mm. Or wouldn't you like for mm. your company to be maybe worth 10 million yes. one day? Yes. Maybe if he's already worth that, he, he will, will say no. Will, yeah. Sometimes maybe if he's trying to brag, like yeah. maybe 100 I million. Just do that just <laughs> that thing, you're like, oh, okay. okay. Go to yeah. I'm just yeah. giving you, you yeah. know, a different ideas on how yes. you can yes. maneuver conversations to try and find out certain things mm. that you might mm. want to know. And it is your own due diligence, yes. even if I'm Yeah. So that even na so ngena kule relationship na lomuna se ngala njolo you have an idea good my man lomuntu lo ngoba siyazi ukuthi abantu abam abantu abaningi special thina amajita yeah yeah now sa now sa shela ziningi into zifihlayo ucine sokuphuma when you're in the relationship yes relationship is even better mm. worse let me not say worse i think it's more serious when it's marriage oh no it's, it's terrible in marriage 
So the because due diligence everything. has to start before the relationship, yeah. during the relationship, yeah. and even more intense during the relationship yeah. before it moves on to marriage. Yeah. And during the relationship is even better when you're about to want to take the, the next step the together. Because ne yeah. that's when you can sit them down. Because yes. the relationship is now mature. Yes. You can say, put la 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 man, my, We're working uh, towards my baby. Mm. Yes, baby, we're working mm. towards together. How mm. are we going to do this? Yeah. Are we going to open up a, a separate trust account mm. for, for us as a, as a family? Mm. Are we going to how are we going to manage our finances because yeah. once we we married everything you know what i mean i like have those discussions you yeah. want to talk about in community out of community prenuptial mm. those agreements you know what i mean yeah. those you can have openly when you're when in you, a relationship yeah. together before you take it to the next step, step yeah, of true. marriage true. that's what i think true. but I mean because i'm single and i'm not married mm. right now i'm in a i'm in a point where i'm very strict yeah about um a sister that i sit with even just for drinks okay because it potentially can be a relationship yeah and um, even before I get into any relationship, I'm very, very strict about the, the person that you date or the person that you eventually marry. It's the very important. There's a reflection yeah, of you. Reflection Actually, they are you. Choices. Yeah. Because this is the person. But you are who you yeah. hang around That's with. That's true. You know? That's true. So, I mean, I'm full of people who are going to be a little bit of 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 a when I'm stopped by people asking for pictures, yeah. are they gonna start deneging when I start visiting Malokshini, mm. doing charity work, yeah. or are they gonna start judging me when I'm selling in the streets? Yeah. Are they gonna be affected by it? You know, yeah. in the yeah. yeah. I mean, I go through serious due diligence yeah. before I say umuntu girlfriend. Yeah, I'm very strict in that department. Sure, that's amazing. I guess this is me. Yeah, but I, that's how you should be. I think in general. I'm yes. gonna see my lawyer now, and then I'm going to the radio. Oh, and then I've got a, a what, like an eight o'clock meeting after the radio, and then I'm going into music studio in the evening. Hustling. <laughs> That's my I love day. Love it. I love it. I so, love it. Absolutely. Uh, my sister, I'm really proud of you, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I think this is part one. Part, definitely part one in. Definitely. Guys, we have to catch up. Like it has to be when when the book drops, that'll be in three to four months. Yes. We'll sit down again. Yeah. I think this will be a regular. Yeah. I think you and I, yeah. after a few months, we have to check on each other. How's yes. everything going? Have a yes. chat with the people because I think yes. our vision is similar. Yes. We all want to help our people. Yes. We yes. want to help yes. young people, yes. especially black people. Yo, you know? our people, guys. Black child, it's possible. Yeah, and it definitely is. Eh? Yo. For anyone, if doesn't matter who you are, where you come black from. Guys. Doesn't matter whether you can see, you can't see, you're a mute. Doesn't matter whether you're sitting on a wheelchair. It does not matter who you are, where you come from. It is possible. And it says for you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, young as she is. <laughs> oh, she's doing. Not even only that. And she's not even, hasn't even started. Yeah. Doing all these great things. Yeah. Young people are doing great things, guys, with their lives out there. The question is, what are you doing with yours? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. The legend himself. Ah, the this legend thing of you guys calling himself. me a legend. The no. legend himself. I'm still young, my The legend. Oh, you can be a... What, not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> not all heroes wear capes. Um, you know, as young as you are, it's been incredible. It's been incredible watching you coming from Bushback Ridge, watching you on TV, um, and then understanding your story seeing it play out in the public space seeing what you were doing and just selling this thing getting this thing into shops you know people it's those policies those systems you talk about where they they'll do anything to try and stop you but you were like nah see again see corner and it's here as a south african brand and, and everything else that you've done creating your own spaces you know not relying on everybody else to create a space for you being able to set up massive metro and say come i want to give you guys a platform i want to give you guys a voice speak tell your story let's let, let's do what we need to do that for me is powerful thank you Siswan. absolutely Gabon. powerful Gabon keep Siswan. going Pusha -pusha, man. she's a best-selling author <laughs> she's an mba graduate yes. She is a multi-billionaire. Um, yes. She is um, a multi-property <laughs> owner oh, that are worth yes, billions. Yes, please. So I'm, I'm already talking things they that are you're going to be in the I next few years. Like you you already I'm are, like, actually. You know, like, Uncle Uncle, I see you. That's it. So we just need to embrace it That's and it. act as if That's we're already there. Because we are already there. Yay. How do we find you? What are your social media platforms? So you find me, YouTube, The Financial Bunny, 
um facebook financial literacy with nicolette mashila guys that's a very powerful platform the facebook page because everybody has conversations there and then yeah i'm going to tweet i'm going to for two seconds but on instagram i'm nicolette mashila nicolette thank you my sister <laughs> Guys, have a great one. Um, her book is coming out in Yay. around Easter time, Yay. and she's got a, a board game, financial board game, that's coming out as well, just before maybe June yes, or so. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, maybe towards it, but definitely before the end of this year. Mm. And she's got a lot to teach you about investing in property, finances, etc. So follow her platforms. We will reconnect soon when she's launching a book to have a conversation about the book. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, guys. For more more financial tips, subscribe to Financial TV to get the latest financial tips.